Next up, we have Shop. Now, Shop I have been working with for a number of years, and I have a, quite a bit of instruction on the site on how to use Shop. Shop is a paid plugin by shopplugin.net, and it costs $55 per site, which includes one year of support for each paid site. You can also buy priority support and things like that in addition to that. But it's possible for you, theoretically possible for you, but possible for you to install Shop on as many sites as you want. But if it's not a registered site with them, you're not going to get support for it. It won't be notified of updates and upgrades, things like that. And it does have the ability for you to, you know, buy an unlimited developer license, which is what I have which gets past all of that stuff. But it does have a number of paid extensions. It doesn't have any free extensions. Oh, except for mine. I have the, I have the on WordPress.org, I have the Thesis Shop Connect plugin, which is a free extension. But then, let's see, store. And... You know, it's got the majority of the payment gateways that it supports have some sort of fee associated with them. The same thing is true for storage engines and shipping modules and SSL and and a few of their other add-ons. There are a number of extensions that can be added onto Shop. Shop is very full-featured. That is... Most of the things that you want to do in Shop, you can do. It's slightly less full-featured than WooCommerce, just because WooCommerce has a larger system of people writing add-ons for it. But, I mean, it's it's second only to WooCommerce. Nobody else is, comes close to how full-featured Shop is. Now, it's also very customizable. In fact, it's intended to be customized, and which really makes it a developer's theme, right? You know, I started teaching it and then realized that the mistake I was making was I was teaching a theme that really required you to know PHP, HTML, and CSS. You don't have to know those things, but if you don't know those things, you have to live with the way the layouts work. But it is, it is intended for people who do know PHP, HTML, and CSS so that they can make their stores any way they want. So it has a very, very extensive API, which makes it very easily customized. Now, its biggest weakness is that it has bugs. And some of those bugs are proving to be very slow to be resolved. Once upon a time, when I first started teaching my class, shop was in 1.1.9. And it worked spectacularly all the time. I didn't have any problems with it whatsoever. But then Shop went through a major overhaul and was entirely rewritten and came out with 1.2. And that was a good improvement in a lot of ways. But it turned out to be also an improvement that had tons of bugs in it. And all of a sudden, stuff that should be working just wasn't working in stores. And I think the most persistent problem right now is its, is its integration with the U.S. Postal Service shipping. That one seems to be defying their ability to get it worked on, or it's only existing in some folks' sites, or whatever it happens to be. I would say that, that right now, Shop is too buggy to really use today, unless, unless you're already committed to using Shop and it's already working for you. But I've just seen too many instances of it failing because of little bugs. Now, I don't think that's going to last forever. And I think that, you know, they will figure out how to recover the software so that it works flawlessly all the time. But they're not there yet. And so today, I don't recommend anybody start using Shop because I just don't know where the problems lie. I do know that the U.S. Postal Service shipping rates, as soon as you want to include international shipping in the U.S. Postal Service shipping rates, it just doesn't work properly anymore. So, anyway, that's its biggest drawback.